What's up everybody out there? My name is Bryce of Michael RC and today is another Cosplay Thursday. I apologize for the sound in the background guys. I've got my printer right next to me and it's printing uh, something right now in ABS. I'm just printing the last of the, the very last of my ABS. I decided to just do something that I can have some fun with. What we got for you guys today is a little bit different than what I normally do. What I normally do is show you guys a finished product or almost all the way done finished product. Today I'm going to be showing you guys something that I'm planning on redoing in the future. So even though I told you I think last week or the week before that that I was planning on going ahead and finishing this one, I just kind of want to start all over from the beginning, get a different type of TPU or get a different type of flex filler or something and uh, try to redo this and, and set everything slower because when you're working with TPU and flexible filaments you want to slow the printer down and I didn't. On this one it was the first try that I had I just wanted to see if it would work I wanted to see if I could get something good with it and I had it on regular PLA settings which is a pretty fast board pretty fast bed, pretty fast print and um, there was a lot of problems that went, went along with the prints anyways but I went ahead and put it together because uh, I also didn't know how to, how to kind of connect the pieces it was in multiple pieces and I ended up using a soldering gun because regular glue wouldn't have worked. It would have hardened certain places. And now I figured out where I, where I can get like a flexible Bondo that can actually be sandable and stuff like that. So I, I want to do this in the future when I have more at my disposal. But at the period of building this, I didn't have that stuff at my disposal. I didn't have the knowledge and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys this today only because I made the Stormtrooper last weekend. And then I started the Clone Trooper. And I was going to try to get it done by today. Uh, but that just didn't happen and not only did it not happen but I'm glad it didn't happen because I also want you guys to help me make the clone trooper helmet because I just can't decide what clone trooper I want to do so anyways without further ado here is the winter soldier arm that I made in TPU now before anybody says anything at all this is not good like I said at the beginning uh, this is not a good print uh, so in the end, I just kind of slapped some colors on and stuff. I said last week that I was going to finish this up and actually make it look a little bit better. I decided not to since I'm going to go ahead and remake it. So I kind of decided to keep it as it is. But this is the actual print file for the Winter Soldier arm that you can get on Thingiverse or my mini factory right here. Uh, this is all in TPU, so it is flexible. You can see that. It's pretty dang thick and it still flexes pretty good. Um, it is spray painted at the moment so it holds spray paint really well the TPU that I used and I, I'm sorry I can't tell you the TPU that I used because it I ordered this roll of TPU at the very beginning when I first got the printer and I haven't really used it all that much and it's been about six months and the, the roll didn't have a name on it and I didn't keep the box so uh, I apologize for that but this one held the paint pretty good I actually found out that I could do it and most of it actually printed out pretty good I had some spots up here that I had to kind of fill in and mess around with. Um, there was a few little spots that had a little little holes and things like that. And then I ended up taking a, a soldering iron and all the pieces, there's one, two, three, four, and five pieces all together. And you can see in that gold uh, where I melted the pieces together. I mean, it doesn't look that bad the way that I connected it. And from a distance, it actually looks pretty good but the bad thing is this isn't movie accurate because if you look at the actual either one of them I think this was made during the gray Winter Soldier arm I went ahead and did the black version a really cruddy version of the black uh, but either one of them it's not very accurate because it has these really deep grooves and stuff in it and the Winter Soldier arms more sleek solid and it's got small little details and stuff to it uh, so basically it's just an arm and it would actually be a really good arm like, like if you wanted to make some TPU sleeves for maybe being Jax or something from Mortal Kombat you could use it for that I'm going to put this on I'm going to show you guys it in a little bit but yeah you could you could substitute it out for Jack from Mortal Kombat or anybody that has big gigantic arms if you wanted to be like a wrestler or something and just put these over your arms and um, make them into sleeves or something like that I mean, these it's pretty cool. It's about the size of my arm. It fits my arm in it perfectly, but it gives it a little bit more uh, depth and stuff to it. So I'm going to show you guys what this looks like on me. And uh, basically, I want to show you guys this today just, just so you guys can see what the actual file itself looks like. I kind of wish I wouldn't have painted it and just showed you in the TPU. Uh, that way you could really see what the file looks like itself. And uh, 
But I think you get a pretty good idea of all of it put together right there. You can see the inside there, that's the original TPU and you can see this, some spots where it kind of messed up. And then you can see where it was melted together there. But let's go ahead and put this thing on so I can show you guys. It's going to be a real short video. I'm going to show you something else in this too that, that I'm working on in the future. But let's go ahead and put my sleeve over the top here. All right, there we go. There is the Winter Soldier arm. I can actually bend my arm in it. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. It doesn't go down all the way. The Winter Soldier arm goes down all the way, so you can get like a black or gray glove, whatever you want to do with that. Uh, paint a star on it, paint it, go, paint it gray rather than black and stuff, but Hey, it's pretty good in TPU. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> it actually works really good. So I do want to redo this really badly. I want to do this in like a Ninja Flex, something that's better than this because I've only wore this a few times. Well, I'm more, probably more than a few times to be honest with you. In the TPU that I used, uh, this is another reason why I didn't want to work on this one anymore. The TPU that I used, I had to split it right here to fit over my hand and it's already starting to crack there and then from bending it, I want something a little bit more flexible. You can see, let's see if I can, there's a spot on here, oh yeah, right there. There's a spot right there where the TPU has split. So this TPU is not that strong. You can see the, the little holes and stuff in here. I had to go over this with a soldering iron and try to smooth that out as much as possible. Uh, so slowing it down, you won't get that problem at all. Uh, but it would be really smooth and then there's some cracking and stuff up here in the top so to me this one's already really worn out and I don't I just don't want to adjust it and I'm gonna just get some Ninja Flex some better some better TPU I watched a video and I'll, I might put a link in the description I might not uh, I watched a video of a guy doing different reviews on on all these different flexible filaments and I found a way better flexible flexible filament and it's real super flexible so this one uh, I'd rather do it on that one I also watched a video of a guy that does a venom mask he does several different venom masks and he shows how to there's this uh, flexible bondo that you can put on that sandable and I'm gonna use some of that so uh, that was really cool make sure that you look that up venom Venom mask. He makes several of them. One of them with half of his face open. One of them that just has a movable jaw and the venom face. I mean, it's really cool. And and he figured out flexible filament. Uh, so if you're wanting to know how to do that, make sure that you go over there. But sorry that I couldn't get you a finished one today, folks. Like I said, I'm working on that clone trooper right now, and I want to get some ideas from you guys. So leave in the comments what clone trooper you think I should do. What I'm leaning more towards right now is the shock trooper. I want to do the shock trooper so bad because it's the white with the red markings and stuff on it. But there's also other ones. There's the uh, the 112th Airborne, I think, which is the yellow ones. Uh, and I'm not going to nerd out and show you how much of a nerd I am by naming any of the other ones. So make sure that uh, if you have any ideas of, of, they've got the blue one, you know, the guys that followed Anakin in. I think there's they're the 302. They followed Anakin into the temple uh, during Revenge of the Sith. There's all sorts of different painting colored uh, clone troopers. So if you have an idea what you would like to see, uh, what I'm going to do is, is basically get it all the way to the white, all white, and, and then I want to look at the comments after that and see if anybody gave me any suggestions for what type of clone trooper I should make. I'm leaning shock trooper. We could go classic, we could go the gray, the yellow, there's green, there's there's blue, there's all sorts of different ones. So leave me a comment, help me out with this. Uh, also, coming up here soon, I'm gonna be doing my very first print for somebody else. Uh, a guy got a hold of me on Instagram. So make sure that you go over to my Instagram page, the link will be in the description. Also, while you're at it, go on over to my Patreon page. I have a Patreon page set up. Go over there and help me out. I could really use the help buying more filament and stuff and bringing you guys more and more of these prints. I would really appreciate the help. You know, better content when you have more money to spend, I guess. But anyways, he got a hold of me on Instagram. 
asked me in messaging how much it would cost him if I was to build him a uh, certain helmet or something and then get it all the way smoothed and primed and then send it to him for him to paint. We came to an agreement and then he sent me the STL files and this flash helmet is so pristine. It's such a good looking helmet. I'm gonna make me one too. So you guys will probably see both of the helmets featured on this channel because I, I want to make a video of it that way it shows before I uh, mail it out to him so he can look back at the channel and say hey that's my helmet and I can say this is getting mailed out to you today or something I don't know and maybe I can I can make mine at the same time and we can kind of like show them side by side and I can show him what it could eventually look like who knows who knows uh, but anyways I'm pretty tickled pink about that one so if you want to get a hold of me on Instagram, if you guys want a print, if you guys want one of these prints, or if you guys want to buy a print on online, there's a really good place. Uh, I think it's 303D or something like. I'll leave I'll leave uh, the thing right up here so you guys can see what that is. And they make the best prints ever. I mean, I went through there. They make some amazing 3D prints of uh, cosplay and things like that and if you guys want to get one of those and you guys want me to make it if you don't have a 3d printer you want me to make it send it my way get a hold of me on instagram just like he did send me a message or something like that let's work something out and uh, i can do it for you and it will be featured on this channel as well so i really appreciate that make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section uh, so everybody can go over to your page and then whenever it's featured on this channel and sent to you you can show everybody uh, what your finished product looks like. I think that would be really cool if you've got a YouTube channel. So I've decided to build an RC flyable Spitfighter jet. This is uh, the British jet from World War II. Spitfighter, it's got a little spot for an FPV camera there. This opens up and you can put all sorts of electronics and stuff inside. That is a real uh, 2203, all you guys that have been following me since the Acro Drones, this is one of my Acro Drone Emacs 2205. Oh, yeah, 2205, 2300 kV motors fits perfectly in there. And uh, that's going to be hooked up to servos and some other things, and we're going to put this thing in the air. But this one might be a while. You guys are seeing this now on this channel, but it might be a little while before I actually fly this because I've got to order everything. I've got to get a new uh, remote control, uh, and then I've got to order the the uh, flight control board and the servos and all that different stuff in order to put this up in the air. So this this is going to be done printing soon, so you guys may see the actual thing whenever it's finished, but in order to get all the electronics into it, it might take a little while. So make sure that you head over to my Patreon and um, go ahead and become a Patreon member and, and help out with that, and we can put this in the air a little bit sooner or something like that. Uh, but anyways... I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I said that this would be a short video and it ended up being a whole lot longer than I wanted it to. I've got to get to bed. I'm sorry for being late. Uh, usually I put these out Thursday morning or Thursday afternoon and sometimes I put them out Wednesday night after midnight to where it's technically Thursday or something. I'm getting to this a little bit late so I really apologize to that. We'll see you guys next Thursday with the Clone Trooper. Help me pick what it's going to be guys. Help me decide on what color the Stormtrooper is going to be. We'll see you guys later. Y'all have a good one.